Hey guys, welcome to Manage by Stats. I'm gonna give you a brief walkthrough of all the different tools that we have in here and um, set you on a course to get everything operational, okay? So the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have the developer permissions and user permissions uh, synced up. Um, if you're at this point, you probably have already done that. Uh, you wanna make sure also you have your advertising permissions set, okay? So the first thing you're gonna see when you come in is your uh, dashboard. This is a very customizable dashboard. You have uh, sales dashlets, you have graphs, key performance indicators, a um, whole bunch of different things you can add in here. Just hover over any space here, uh, click there. You can add any uh, one of these different types of dashlets uh, to your dashboard. Again, very customizable colors, uh, sizes. You can create multiple dashboards as well. So question, what do you do if your revenue is down? Well, let me show you. Over here, we have a default dashboard that we've set for you which is a key performance indicators dashboard. And what this does is it gives you the four main statistics that you're gonna to wanna to look at to analyze your business. These cover all aspects of your business. And below each of these, you have the sub stats or the influencing stats that actually indicate what you need to handle in each one of these KPIs. So you'll see those laid out for you. Um, and this is gonna help you basically pinpoint the areas of your business that need to be corrected or changed if you have revenue going down. Okay, so very key point that you're gonna to wanna to look at and use, um, that's the dashboard. As well, for each of these KPIs, we have a checklist or a PDF document that you can actually download and look at that tells you what areas of your business that you need to look into if one of these KPIs is going down. Okay, so that's the dashboard. Now, let's go into the next section, finances. This is gonna be a integral part of uh, managing your, your account. What you have here is an overview of the exact finances uh, of your payouts from Amazon. So you can see all the revenue, uh, what you have uh, coming in as revenue, from that revenue, what fees you have, what Amazon's paying out to you, from that, your cost of goods and advertising and whatnot, and then of course your profits. So this gives you a very quick view of how much profit are you getting from each of these uh, payouts or each of these monthly uh, uh, disbursements, right? So very, very good way to analyze what stuff you're getting in, how you're getting it in, and how much profit you're actually taking home. To analyze that further, we have this breakdowns tab. So now you can actually uh, dig in and see which of your brands is maybe costing you more advertising spend or is not giving you enough profits, right? So now you can dig in uh, by brand. You can then isolate uh, uh, product groups or even all the way down to an ASIN level, which products are losing you the most money, which things you need to make adjustments on, okay? The next view here is profit and loss. So this one actually gives you a, a monthly, weekly comparison or yearly comparison of how you're doing week to week or month to month. So again, this is another way to analyze, okay, how are you doing compared to different time ranges, different seasons or whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the advertising hub. So this is a key point when you're doing your analysis of what areas of your business are, are eating up your profits. Your advertising is gonna be one of them. So you're gonna to wanna to look at the key performance indicators for your advertising and that's what this gives you. So you have the, uh, the nine main statistics that you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on and see how they relate to each other. So of course you have your total revenue, PPC revenue, uh, your ACOS, your uh, ACOTS, which is another way of saying true ACOS, uh, PPC cost, your PPC units, organic units, and your, of course your margin and profit. So these are the, the, the nine main areas that you're gonna wanna look at and go, okay, what areas do I need to shave down or optimize or do something with to make sure I get more profits, okay? And you can select any of these to see how they compare one to another, right? So um, just click on here, analyze them, and then you'll be able to see what you wanna do with them. Um, how they relate to each other and whatnot, okay? Now you've had a chance to analyze your, your advertising, now we can do a little bit deeper dive into individual uh, statistics related to your advertising and your total sales. So to do that, simply go over to statistics and we have sales graphs and marketing graphs. So let's take sales graphs first. This is gonna give you a complete overview of all the different statistics relating to your products, right? So now you have all the graphs that you need to look at all on one page. So instead of having to flip between different graphs, you can see them all together. And you can see, we can slide over here and see date, coincid uh, date coincidences, um, what happened on this day. You can see the other graphs, see what happened on, those same, on that same day for all the different statistics. So this is a good way to dive in and actually see what things were changed or what things happened for all the different stats and see if one thing caused something else to go down, right? 
So a very, very good way to look at this. Again, these are all customizable. You can kind of do these however you like, whatever, whatever your preferences are. And same thing for marketing. You can now dive in and see, okay, of your marketing graphs, you can look at these all together and go, okay, I spent more money. Did I get more conversions? Did I get more impressions? Um, what happened, right? Is my cost per click uh, going up or down? And again, you can look at that and kind of analyze what areas you need to jump into. And additionally, uh, that key point that we showed on the dashboard of being able to view brands, product lines, or individual products, you can do the same thing inside the stats area where you can actually filter down by your brands and then by product groups and individual products. So you can actually drill in and see the product or the area that's actually causing uh, the, the wasted ad spend or whatever. Okay, so these are some of the main tools that help you manage your Amazon account. Now let's walk through some of the other tools that we have in Managed by Stats. Customers is where you can see all of your customers coming in. You can see uh, how many new customers you're getting, your repeat buyers, uh, geo analytics on them, and of course, generate reports for all of your customer database. Catapult is where you're gonna find uh, tools that help you find new products, optimize those listings, or optimize, if you're creating a listing, optimize it, and then of course, uploading it to Amazon, and of course, tracking keywords and tracking how launches go. In the products tab, you have your inventory management and then key metrics on your products. It's also where you enter in your cost of goods and do your product grouping. In sale or mail, you have a way to automate the review request as well as create customized messages if you like. We also have some consultant services that you can check out uh, here. And then in our settings section, this is where you see your seller accounts. You can connect several of them in there. You have your affiliate link, your, you can add users to your account, and then different settings that you can have for uh, inside the UI. Uh, you can also see your subscriptions and get your invoices. So that's a brief overview of Managed by Stats. Uh, you'll find detailed videos on each of those sections up here in the Learn video icon up here, as well as our knowledge base. And if you need any assistance, just contact support at managedbystats.com and we'll help you out. See you in the next video.